Hello, YouTube world, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, all that stuff. Today, instead of a live stream, as promised, I stated that I was going to do some minimal reviews of some of the products and the unboxing or whatever of the products um, that I'm getting to build my own PC. Um, I will, in the descriptions below, put um, a link to the products that I did purchase with prices and stats and everything. Um, I do not have everything together yet, so I'll be doing these videos individually one at a time, I think. Um, only because I am dying to set up my keyboard and mouse. Yeah, no patience whatsoever. Um, hopefully I should be getting a lot more of the items in here within the next week or so um, that I had ordered and hopefully they all mesh together with what I um, um, have read online and stats and made sure everything was cohesive. So we'll see what happens there. But um, I still have a couple major components to get, which will be a couple checks um, because of the holidays and whatever now. So I think I still need to purchase my graphics card and my motherboard. So otherwise everything else I think is pretty much complete. Um, I'm also doing an update on my current computer. So I'm not going to do an unboxing of any of that stuff I don't think. I'm just going to put it in and uh, hopefully it takes off and works. So, um, And then I will update the stats on what I'm running underneath my streams and stuff like that. So um, I'll go, I'll put down what I was using for a standard 10 year old computer and then what I upgraded it to. So it should make a difference hopefully. Um, Pardon me, my mess. I just kind of woke up today. I didn't feel like doing shit. Just keeping it real. It's okay. So, um, so we're going to start today. I'll probably split these up with a bunch of different um, videos. Um, so I don't take up too much of people's times. But um, this one today, as I kind of gave you a sneak preview yesterday with my live stream that was a big clusterfuck of video issues, but thanks for um, seeing it through and holding it out with me after I got that all resolved. So, and I apologize if I massacre names and companies and whatever in advance. None of these are sponsors to me. These are just items I have purchased based on reviews, likes, um, price point, looks, um, so I just want something that will look beautiful because I'm an artist on the side, of course, and work great for gaming. So as I showed you yesterday, or a little sneak peek, this is a, the Alua Spider F2088. And um, this is what the box looks like. Hopefully everybody can see it okay. Ooh, wrong way. I gotta go opposite. So this is what the outside box looks like. And I had purchased this from, I think, Amazon. This is the last one that they had on there. So um, this is what the back of the box looks like. Nothing extremely fancy or anything, but I think it looks pretty neat. I'm going to move my camera down so you all can see me unboxing this, even though it's kind of been tampered with already. Oh my goodness, it's going to be one of them situations. Okay, this way. I got to go this way. So here's here's the box again. And it's the Alua Spider. Oh my goodness. So um, we're just going to open it up here, hopefully. Try to do this all backwards. So it comes with the key fob remover, um, which is helpful if, you know, you wanted to pull them out and do some cleaning or if you wanted to switch out keys or um, put a custom escape key or whatever in there um, works out great so it's nice that they have that extra little piece because it doesn't usually come with too many 
um, keyboards at all. Take this baby out of there. Set that aside for a minute. All right, guys, so she is very beautiful. This is the first time taking that bubble wrap off. I've only seen it sneak peeked it before, so. Um, as you can see, she uh, is a white keyboard here and with um, chrome accents on her. And she has the logo right here of the spider. Um, they have a knob for, um, it looks like, um, for how bright or cold, or bright or cold. Wow. Wake up, Cassandra. How bright or dim you want your coloring. This baby does light up. Um, it looks like we have some music buttons here too to skip songs or pause or however you want to set those up here. It has some beautiful typing in here. And this is set up like a keyboard. So um, that's what it's supposed to resemble. I like the fact that it makes a bunch of these really annoying clicking sounds because I'm a pretty fast typer. I can do 80 words a minute not correctly, but 80 words a minute while I'm typing. So this ought to annoy the shit out of my husband, which is, you know, the prime goal because it's no fun if you don't annoy people. So um, on the outside here, it is very gorgeous, very spacious. It, um, it almost looks custom. So, I mean, it's, it's, I love it. I love it. Um, I haven't seen it lit up yet. So I'm going to try to do that. So I should have probably already had this all ready to go, but then it wouldn't have been the same effect. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down the supports. And I'm gonna see if I can get this baby to reach my computer and plug it in the USB port on the top. And yeah, definitely. It looks pretty darn cool, guys. Pretty darn cool. Too bad I don't have like less light in here. Too bad it's not a little darker. It's kind of sunny outside today. But uh, yeah, she uh, shines, that's for sure. And you hit buttons and the color kind of disappears out of them and then it comes back by the looks of it oh my goodness that is so sexy so so sexy oh yeah here's the dimming switch for how dim or bright you want it it looks like um yeah it looks it looks amazing guys it looks amazing i'm i'm really excited I'm really excited for this this keyboard. I'm sure there's different settings to play with and whatnot. Um, I did not get that far to look at it. Let's see what the directions say here. That would probably be the best thing to do. I should have read those damn things first. So click to switch the lighting effect. Okay. So, oh my goodness. So it looks like a wave lighting effect. If you just push down here, there's a pulsate maybe from the inside out, one side to the other, outside in. Oh my goodness. Then that one looks like it just goes away. Oh my goodness, like one line at a time thing? Oh no, oh no, when you click it, it lights up where it's gonna go. How sick, I love it. That is amazing. I don't know what that does. Oh, just one key at a time instead of the line. So it has many different uh, features by the looks of it here. So that is that is just so cool. I am so excited. I didn't I didn't get to read any of that information, so it's pretty cool. 
So it says that it has a wire rod, which is this, it's just plug in, plug in. It's not cord, or it's not cordless, it's corded. Um, uh, number two is the mode key. Oh, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what that means, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'll have to figure that out later. Number three is the lighting effect with the volume knob, uh, which is this, which we just explored. Um, two color keycap. I don't know, that doesn't do anything. I'm probably doing it wrong. Number four. Yeah, that's supposed to be that button. I don't know what that does, but anyways. Um, number five is the indicator lights. Oh, I think it just tells me that number one is, oh, I don't know. It's something kind of fancy. I don't, I don't know all that stuff, but yeah, anyways, um, six is the meta panel. Oh, that's the thing that it's built on. Um, bottom cover and whatever oh the doormats the legs okay so it looks like you got all those fun little things and widgets to to run out of there so yeah this is supposed to be um an anti anti paint rub off too so like those of us who still use a keyboard while gaming <clears throat> me right here that's me. I do a keyboard and mouse. Um, it's supposed to not wear on the keys, um, no matter how many times you push the buttons like my current keyboard. So um, let's hope that actually works out and happens. Um, it requires a Vista, Windows 7, 8, 10, and Mac it will run on. It's just a plug and play. Um, yeah, so it's, let's see, 108 keys, keystrokes, 4.0 mm. So key strength is 60 plus 10 grams, 10 Gs, whatever that means. So key lifetimes is 50 million. So they're guaranteed for at least 50 million times, you know. So whatever that would end up being. With me, probably like a year. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, yeah, and it weighs 0 0.83 kilograms, including handle. Oh, I don't know what that is, but yeah. So, um, it, I, I like it. I, I'm in love with it. I think it, I think it's pretty, pretty dang fancy here. So, um, I think it will work out perfectly with my computer bill. All right. Also... It comes with this fancy dancy magnetic. Um, I'm probably doing this wrong. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing this wrong. Magnetic. Um, there we go. For your wrists to support. So you can use this as well. And it just kind of clips on there like that magnetically. So it gives you a little bit support for your wrists. And when. So I just accidentally hit a button over here <laughs> that stopped the recording. Awesome. Anyways, so I just wanted to finish this video and show you that um, uh, that's the full review and whatever for this um, um, unboxing and uh, keyboard info. So uh, I want to just thank you all for watching this one today. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.